hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making this beautiful rhinestone ghost topper with a ombre tumbler okay um, I'm starting out with a uh, true 22 tumbler from tipsy magnolia I went ahead and base spray painted this orange like a pink and black I was trying to do a four color ombre but um, the pink colors that I was going to use were too similar so it winds up just being a three color ombre okay but what I did is I'm using the epoxy method and I took some facet epoxy and I added a very thin layer onto my tumbler I am now applying the um, first color okay and this color is ditto by peachy olive glitters okay and I am just starting with the middle first because I felt like it would be the best for the colors to blend together okay um, and I am just holding my cup at an angle so that way the glitter um, you know goes onto the cup sparingly and not all in one clump after each color I am going to of course put my glitter back into my jar I just kind of cut out those parts out um, but here is what I was talking about in the beginning you see uh, this is the second color is called figgy by PG olive glitters um, and I just felt like those colors I mean it gives a beautiful blend honestly but they were very similar so you'll see me later on just go ahead and use ditto all the way okay but I am going to try to blend you know the colors as well as I can of course you know that's the goal with um, you know ombre tumblers you know is to get that I don't want to say perfect because nothing is perfect but to get a really good blend of colors to where there is no harsh line okay and now I am going to just continue to add um, figgy and then ditto back and forth just to you know see if I can blend them together and the next color I am going to do is the black the black is actually called caviar by PG Alba glitters and it is a black glitter that has specks of silver in it so it gives a nice um, shine as well um, compared to some of the just plain black glitters okay and you saw that I took the big part of my um, shaker and did the bottom and now I'm taking the small part of my shaker and doing the top and I'm trying to blend the black in now with the um, last purple okay and I'm just gonna continue to do that I'm not really tilting my cup as much as I probably should be um, that would help <laughs> with the blend but you kind of want to tilt your cup at an angle so that way again the glitters kind of sprinkle on there um, and lastly I'm going in with Gryffindor um, by PG Olive Glitters and it is a pretty orange okay I'm going around this entire um, orange part and I am holding it the opposite way now okay so I can just go ahead and try to blend in the purple and the orange okay and once all this is done I will say if you have any parts that are sticking out you do need to go ahead and get you um, you know some what is that parchment paper and wrap your tumbler really quickly into that um, but if not then you're gonna go ahead and seal it in with whatever epoxy you're gonna use okay and this topper is actually the ghost topper I have it on my website sculptistry.com um, it is um, it comes in white okay all of my items come in white and for rhinestoning instead of painting it I just use some sharpies um, I actually used an orange sharpie and then I used a pink sharpie just to kind of get a really cool um, color match okay and then I am using crystal skull blings 
pumpkin a b ultra mix okay you guys can use the code tapestry to save 20 percent that'll also be linked in the description bar okay so i decided to bling this uh ghost topper but you don't have to bling it you know you could um glitter it you could paint it you know um, there's a lot of different ways that you could uh, dress up this ghost topper okay um, either way you are going to need to epoxy it if you're putting it on a tumbler topper or, or a lid okay but I am using Bob's um, two-part epoxy I'm using the 15 mid cure epoxy and I find that that is really um, one of the best glues or adhesives to use for these 3d printed items okay um that is my recommendation okay but if you guys have a recommendation please put it in the comment section okay so you see here that i'm just taking this beautiful ultra mix and i'm filling in the last sp spaces um, of this topper and i am happy to be done pretty isn't that beautiful Okay, so this is a decal that I uh, purchased from Vancey's Creations. She's on Etsy, okay, and she sells you the DTF wraps, okay? And I thought this was super cute. It kind of matched the color scheme or what I was going for. It did make me think, should I have just done a white ghost, you know, topper or whatever, but it is what it is, okay? And I am separating the... Um, decal I choose I chose to separate the decal because I wanted the flowers and um, everything to kind of be sporadically placed on the tumbler um, so yeah I am just gonna go ahead and put it on here if you're not familiar with UV DTFs you do need to rub it um, on the back <clears throat> and you need to um, peel away the backing place it onto your tumbler and then rub it on and then peel off the front plastic. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, again, these UV DTF prints are everywhere. You'll see them. If you scroll through TikTok, you're gonna see them everywhere. Okay, they are the hottest thing right now in the Tumblr community. <clears throat> and you, um, you know, you're probably gonna find yourself some really cute ones that you wanna use on your tumbler just please know that this item is completely different from vinyl okay so once you place it down you are not able to lift it back up there's no peeling this at all it is what it is okay so make sure that when you put it down you like where it's at okay and I am going to place this right here in the center of my cup and then I am going to take my little um, squeegee and I'm just going to press it into my tumbler, okay? And then I am going to peel it off, all right? Um, this tumbler was almost dry. You know how sometimes we take our stuff off of the turner before their time? I was being impatient. So this tumbler is almost dry and basically when i was peeling the you know transfer off um i believe because it was still a little bit tacky um the residue from the plastic film showed up but you can wipe that off with um an alcohol wipe okay and i do because of that i went ahead and resealed this in but the uv dtf um, transfers are permanent okay that's what they all say that they are permanent you can put them on glass on stainless steel on your glitter tumbler and you do not need to to seal it in okay so had I waited for this tumbler to be completely dry I would have been able to put this decal on and that would have been my last step <laughs> okay but again um, I didn't wait <laughs> so I needed to um, I needed to fix that so I just took a little alcohol wipe and I um, you know cleaned off the residue and it came off fine and then I went ahead and um, added this to my uh, turner to go ahead and finish it off 
all right um, before I added it to my turner I went ahead and took the little flowers that comes with this decal um, and I you know again sporadically placed them all over the tumbler um, you know the design is up to you I think that is really uh, a great thing to split up these decals they come, you know, in one sheet. They're usually about three to four dollars each. Um, so if you if you split it up, you know, you could possibly get one and a half tumbler done. Because I did have some of, you know, the flowers left over. Okay. Um, so that's really all that I'm doing here. Just again repeating the process, peeling off the backing, and you know, adding it to the tumbler. So do you guys clean your tumblers in the middle of your process or at the end? I literally will um, wait until I'm about to do my final coat and I will go ahead and take my acetone and I will take a cotton ball and I'll clean the inside of my cup. I will um, clean my rim, okay, and you know, with my X-Acto knife or whatever. And then I will add my final layer of epoxy. I wonder, is everybody doing it that way or are you guys cleaning your cups? Because I'm looking at this video and I'm like, man, should I have cleaned this beforehand? But my process is to wait until the end. Y'all let me know in the comments what you guys do um, because I feel like that's just so messy, you know, but everybody has your process. Um, again, I had a couple left over of these cute little um, colorful daisies. So I think the cup came out re looking really, really cute. Um, the glitters, you know, complemented the decal. The stones from Crystal Skull Bling complemented the um, cup and the decal. Like everything came together nicely. So very, very happy with it. I did leave that space right there guys just in case somebody wants their name on the back I can put their name on the back okay and lastly um, I turned over uh, the ghost topper this topper comes with a screw on part where you could go ahead and place a um, a light okay you could place a light in there one of those tea lights um, to light up your topper if you want, which is pretty cool. Um, so I wanted to make sure the bottom looked as pretty um, as the top, or you know, it's not gonna look as pretty because those stones are just popping. But I'm taking some UV resin and some glitter. Um, I'm using the same glitter that I used on the tumbler, Gryffindor by um, Peach Yellow Glitters. And I am just adding it to the bottom of this um, this topper. Okay, I'm being careful not to get it to drip. You see, I'm using the back of my um, paintbrush, and I'm just pushing it to the edge. Um, and you know, epoxy resin, whatever, is self-leveling, so it kind of levels out on its own. Um, I just wanted it to have, like I said, a nice bottom. And then I put it under my UV lamp, um, you know, until it was hard. I think I did it twice for um, 90 seconds, okay? And then those leftover decal stickers, little daisy cutie things, I went ahead and added them to the bottom um, because why not? <laughs> um, it was just so cute. So I was like, let me just go ahead and add them to the bottom of this um, tumbler. One of the things that I like to do, um, and I've always said, um, is to make the under part of your design as beautiful as the top. I think sometimes people focus on the top and that's fine, but you know, people like looking and inspecting and you know your customer or your family whoever you're going to make this for they're gonna like ooh, and they're gonna turn it upside down they're gonna look all 
over this. And so one of the things I like to do is make sure that the bottom of my design, no matter what it is, it looks as pretty as the top, okay? So these little decals were like the perfect addition to fit um, in, these, in that space. I think I used all of them that I had left, so that worked out perfectly. Okay, so we are making this a removable topper. So we're taking that tea light part, the part where you would put your light in, okay? And we are going to just glue this to your removable topper base. Um, the one I'm using has a straw hole, but I didn't really need, I'm sorry, the one I'm using had a straw cut out, but I didn't really need that. I could have just done a full circle um, because there is no straw hole for this, okay? And I am now gonna take a Sharpie um, I'm taking orange again and um, pink and I'm going to color in this, okay, because I want to reinforce this. I'm not sure, um, I'm almost 100% sure actually <laughs> that the hot glue is not going to hold up onto this. So I'm going to reinforce this with um, some UV resin, um, same process as the undercarriage of the ghost, okay. Um, and that's something to, that I do need to tell you guys. I thought I told you in the beginning. I went ahead and used Sharpie to color the ghosts um, instead of paint, okay? Um, because it just, again, helps with the adhesion of the rhinestones, okay? Without having to worry about the acrylic base paint, okay? And of course, those of you that are unfamiliar, anytime you're using UV resin, you have to put it under a UV light. So that's why I keep putting it under my light and I'm waiting for it to cure. I like the way it looks. I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> um, and it's time, you know, make sure everything fits, screw it back on and voila, it works out great. So now you have a cute little ghost topper that is removable with some little cute daisies on the bottom. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm testing and I'm like, hmm, can the straw hole fit without me having to, um, you know, I could be like, it, it can work out just fine. But honestly, the placement of this topper on this lid, again, this is a true 22 from Tipsy Magnolia. Um, it's better that it's just a removable topper. Okay, so I am um, very grateful that these tumbler brands have clear lids because it makes it so much easier for you to see what you need to do, okay? And so I am um, just taking a Sharpie. The reason why I'm taking a Sharpie is because I can wipe that off with an alcohol wipe once I'm done. And I am going to now get ready to add my magnets, okay? I'm gonna be using UV resin um, to add um, you know, the magnets to this lid. I will say again, there is a positive and a negative side to each magnet. So make sure you know which side is which and which side you're putting down onto your lid. Okay, I've learned that the hard way over time. All right, <laughs> um, and so I'm just taking my UV resin. I'm just doesn't mean you don't need a lot. You just need a dab of it. You're gonna place your um, magnet down. Okay, and then place it right under your UV light and then um, that will cure and then you're going to do the same thing for the other magnets okay before your topper um, your ghost topper we are not going to use hot glue we're not going to use uv resin we are going to use bob's 15 minute cure um, and we're going to take one drop of that a, a and one drop of b and just mix it right in there put our magnet in there and we know that it's not going anywhere and I just used the back of my little paintbrush to mix this together. And then I took my 12 millimeter by three millimeter magnets um, and I placed it into that cutout. Again, I'm making sure that the side I'm placing in there is the right side, okay? So you do wanna make sure that. I keep saying that because it's important, okay? Um, and once that cures, you'll be left with a beautiful removable ghost topper this is perfect for spooky season um, if you guys are interested in making one of these you can purchase the ghost topper on my website it'll be available for a limited time I thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support and I'll talk to you later bye guys